if y is equal to 3 cos log x plus 4 sin log x. Okay, 3 cos 4 sin. Then we have to show that x square y2. Okay, here we have to show that x square y2 plus x y1 plus y is equal to 0. So y1 means first derivative y sub x2 means second derivative. So let us take this is equation 1. Now same differentiate equation 1 with respect to all of you uh, do your son fastly. So here left side is dy by dx or simply we can write as y suffix 1. y suffix 1 means first derivative. So here we can use chain rule. So 3 into cos derivative is minus sign log x into log x derivative is 1 by x. Shall I write 1 by x directly? or d by dx of again log x plus 4 times of sin derivative is cos of log x again the log derivative d by dx of log x. So in the bracket here I need to write by since by chain rule chain rule okay by chain rule we can do like this so here even you can write dy by dx also instead of uh, y1. Next case, next step, you have to write this as y1 minus 3 sine log x into log x. The derivative of log x is 1 by x. 1 by x shall I write all divided by x? Yes. Plus 4 times of cos of log x. Again, the log derivative is into 1 by x, into 1 by x. Instead of this, I want to write all divided by x here. Clear? Right. So this is the first derivative. Let us take this is equation 2. This is equation 2. Now, you have to write again, differentiate with respect to x here. Okay, so equation 1, this is equation 1 here. Fine. Okay, this is equation 1. Then uh, this is equation 2. So remember, we are going to get a three equation with the help of equation, three equation. So we are going to uh, do that x square y2 plus x y1 plus y is equal to 0. Okay. Equation 1, equation 2. Again, we can differentiate here. So, but here we can apply u by v, u by v rule. Instead of u by v rule, I told you that you can do directly u by v or else. Is there any common? Yes, students. Any common? 1 by x is common. Am I right? Is it clear? 1 by x is common. So minus 3 sin of log x plus 4 cos of log x. Okay, uh, this x you can cross multiply. You should be cross multiply here. Okay. You can cross multiply. We are going to get x into y1 is equal to minus 3 sine of log x plus 4 cos of log x. Okay. So before doing differentiation, what I have done, instead of uh, applying u by v, if you differentiate here, 
a left side is clearly y1 becomes y2 okay but right side you should use u by v root quotient rule that is difficult instead of that so you can cross multiply that x now you can differentiate then lhs you can apply uv root in lhs you can apply the uv root okay now you can differentiate after cross multiplying the x now you can write differentiate again differentiate with respect to x left side you can apply uv rule left side is uv rule let us take this is as u this as v since we know that uh, the uv rule okay? so what is the uv rule since the uv rule is derivative of uv is equal to u v dash plus u dash v so with help of that so x into b by dx of y1 v dash plus y1 into d by dx of x p u dash this is equal to right side minus 3 times of again same sin of log x derivative is cos of log x again the derivative of d by dx of log x okay plus 4 times of cos will be minus sin of log x okay minus sin of log x into d by dx of log x so left side is in lhs lhs x into y1 already the first derivative the derivative again it will becomes y2 x into y2 then y1 into 1 okay derivative of x with with respect to x x value is 1 now so what about here minus 3 into cos of log x into 1 by x the derivative of log x is what since we have to mention all the formulas over here the d by dx of okay all formulas d by d by dx of log x is 1 by x d by dx of cos x is minus sin x like that we know very well all these formulas even though you should write here okay in the same way you should write d by dx of sin x so plus 4 times of plus 4 or minus 4 minus into plus minus 4 so minus 4 sin of log x into derivative of log x is 1 by x so i can complete this next you have to simplify here all of you observe your left side is x y 2 Plus y1 into 1 is y1 is equal to anything is common, right side. Yes, student. Anything is common. Log x by x. Minus 1 by x. No, no, no. Here cos of log x, sine of log. We should not take log x is common. Just 1 by x. Minus is common and 1 by x is common. Remaining value is 3 cos of log x. Cos x into log x means you can take log x common. Four sine of log x. Like this, x you can cross multiply. X times of x y two plus y one is equal to minus minus of three cos log x plus four sine log x. Okay, by equation one, what is the value of three cos log x? 3 cos log x 4 sin log x value yes students 3 cos log x plus 4 sin log x value is y shall i write here it is y now multiply with x x into x x square y2 plus x into y1 x y1 this minus y you can take it to left side so plus y Is equal to zero. So what about this? What do you observe here? Points. Is it required? 
Yes or no? This is required. So, see here we, we they are asking to show that x square y two plus x y one plus y is equal to zero. Already we got it. X square y two plus x y one plus y is equal to zero. So what I have done here, I am taking the given question. I differentiated with respect to x on both sides. So left side is dy by dx. We can written as y one. Right side is okay. Uh, here, even if you want, you can do directly with the help of u by u. In that case, we are going to get more number of steps. This equation two, you can differentiate directly after u by u. V u dash minus u v dash by v square. Otherwise, you can do like this. This is also the first part. If they give five marks, either you can do this method or else you can apply u by v. This is the easiest method. See directly, we got x square y two plus x y one plus y is equal to zero. That's all. Okay. You can try that u by v. In case uh, if you're not getting, I need to explain. Okay, right. Next, the last exercise, which is belongs to mean value theorems. Okay, mean value theorems. So here, exercise five point eight. What is the concept here? Mean value theorem. What is the mean by mean value theorem? Uh, this is important for even J.E. purpose. So last time, this is the deleted portion. Okay. Anyhow, we will discuss now. Mean value theorem. There are two important theorems are there here. Actually, there are uh, four theorems, four or five theorems are there in the advanced level. Like in IIT, you are going to discuss about the uh, uh, Cauchy's Riemann uh, mean value theorem and Taylor's theorem, McLaren theorem, like that. So here we will discuss about only two theorems. Uh, that are uh, first one is Rolle's mean value theorem. Uh, second one is Lagrangian mean value theorem. Or simply Lagrange's mean value theorem, or Lagrange's theorem, we can call as a different ways. So okay, fine. So here, how many theorems I said now? Two theorems mainly. We will discuss. One is Rolle's mean value theorem (MVT). MVT is nothing but mean value theorem. Second one is Lagrange's or uh, Lagrange's or Lagrangian, you can write in both the ways. Yeah, mean value theorem. Okay, or Lagrange's theorem. So we will discuss these two theorems here. Clear, students? Remember that very important theorems. So what is the mean by Lagrange's theorem, and what is the mean by Rule is mean value. So both will be depending on the, both are depending on the slope. Here I am going to take a function f of x b f function. See it. Let f of x be the given function. The function I am defining from domain. Domain. Domain I am taking as a comma b to r. Is a function is a function from where to where domain is just a flow into a comma b. So then the uh, codomain is real numbers. Input input we can give within the given values. Okay, output is maybe real number. Okay, so this is a function like f of x. Then here I am going to write the statement of Rolle's theorem 
after that i am going to explain geometrical interpretation of rolle's theorem and geometrical interpretation of mean value theorem okay so uh, it is depending on continuity and differentiability already we studied the concept of continuity and differentiability so what is the mean by the function is continuous continuous in the uh, closed interval a comma b the function f of x is continuous in the closed interval a comma b means the function is defined at the end points and also it is continuous if each and every point which is belongs to the interval and the function is continuous in open interval a comma b nothing but what the function is continuous entire the interval continuous entire the interval other than a comma b because end points are not belongs to the interval here open interval this is the mean and f of x is differentiable means f of x is differentiable here we are going to discuss in only open interval other than that end point so f of x is differentiable in open interval a comma b means the function is differentiable in each and every point like uh, if i take the interval like uh, 1 2 10 and i am going to take i uh, this is x axis and y axis x axis y axis uh, i am taking the point this is uh, a this is b okay a value i am taking as a value i am taking as like a 1 b value i am taking as simply 10 so i am taking the interval from a to b a to b nothing but 1 to 10 if i draw the graph any graph here Uh, like uh, I, I, I need to draw the graph like this. Okay, so f of x is continuous in the interval uh, closed interval a comma b nothing but what do you observe here? There is no any break to the curve. This is the graph of the function. This is the graph of the function. I am taking this is y is equal to f of x. Y is equal to f of x with the given function. the graph of the given function from a to b is continuous there is no break at all differentiable nothing but you can draw the tangent at any point tangent at any point if i take the point will be here point will be here point will be here there exists a unique tangent okay there exists a unique tangent you can draw the tangent at any point here so whatever the tangent is exist this is a tangent at this point this is a tangent at the point this is the uh, sorry uh this is a tangent at the point this is tangent at this point like that so the derivative is exist at every point it is differentiable that is the meaning by uh, meaning of differentiable it is a smooth curve for example i already we discussed that if it is a sharp corner the curve the graph is like this is it differentiable from year to year yes at each and every point is it differentiable no it is a sharp corner at this corner the function having two tangent this is one tangent this is one tangent two different slope but here from for to this one at every point it has unique slope but here at this corner point it has two slopes because it is a combination of two lines okay so this is the meaning of continuous continuous means there is no break at all from a to b it is differentiable means at except a and b it is uh, means uh, differentiable at each and every point nothing but dy by dx is exist 1 to 10 other than 1 1.1 to 9.999 it is differentiable okay this is the meaning of continuity and differentiability but theorems are very easy i am going to explain you a uh, role is theorem the every theorem as a statement every theorem as a statement right the statement alone you have to remember even no need for this okay continuous in entire interval and differentiable not like right. so i am going to write first role is theorem statement the questions are very very easy again i am telling you that concept might be Difficult sometimes we may or may not be understand the concept. The questions which is related to Rolle's theorem, Rolle's theorem and uh, Lagrange's theorem are easy. 
so rho less mean value zero okay rho less mean value zero see statement i am going to write in the statement here statement alone you have to remember statement so what is the statement here the statement is again here uh if f from same close interval a comma b to the output is real number is defined uh defined by y is equal to f of x uh statement is uh to verify that the statement is uh is satisfies if of x is satisfies the following following conditions there are three two only two conditions are there okay three conditions in solace two conditions in lagrange satisfy the following of uh, conditions in the, the first point is that uh, f of x is the given function is continuous continuous in closed interval a comma b intervals intervals are very important see here student what is the interval i have written continuous in closed interval second one is f of x is differentiable differentiable in open interval not here closed interval open interval you should not confuse here continuous in closed interval differentiable in open interval and the third point is here third point is that uh f of a is equal to f of b okay f of a is equal to f of b then when the function satisfies these three conditions so whatever i am going to write now that is very very important then there exist this is the symbol of there exist okay then uh simply you can write like this there exist in the bracket i am writing there exist then there exist a point c c which is belongs to open interval a comma b this is such that okay such that this is different so what is the symbol here this symbol is reverse capital e okay this is such that f dash of c is equal to 0 so here the what are the important condition is this f dash of c is equal to 0 okay this is important and the uh and also this is f of a is equal to f of b this is important sir yeah sir if it continues only we can differentiate sir no open interval i didn't get you continue sir, sir if the function is continuous only we can differentiate uh, no sir we can draw tangent and differentiate sir then okay. open interval a comma b over see uh, actually what we what is the mean by like uh, is here every continuous is differentiable or every differentiable is continuous yes every differentiable is continuous every continuous may not be differentiable okay okay 
just now I drawn here, like look at here, it is a continuous. It is continuous. But is it differentiable? No, there is no break, but at the corner point, it is not differentiable. So why they have taken like it is uh, uh, differentiable at the end, uh, open interval? Means if I, if we draw the any point will be here, we don't know the extension at the tail points. But uh, we can easily draw the tangent at every point, but uh, what is the extension? Like just, uh, I am taking the uh, curve like that. It's not only A to B, I am taking the function like this, here, like this, I am extension. But we require to check just one to ten alone. We have to check whether the Rolle's theorem and Lagrange's theorem are verifying one to ten. We don't want to like minus infinity to plus infinity. In that infinite curve, we, we want to take some particular uh, uh, interval, the particular graph. Okay, that only we want to check whether it is continuous or differentiable, or endpoints are equal or not. See, uh, your statement alone you have to remember. Function is continuous in closed interval a comma b, differentiable in open interval a comma b. Third condition, f of a must be equal to f of b. Then there exists at least one point c in open interval a comma b such that f dash of c becomes zero. I hope that uh, uh, I think so. Uh, it is difficult to understand directly this point. Okay, I am going to write a geometrical interpretation, geometrically right with help of the graph. You can easily understand this. Okay, this I'm going to take the uh, x-axis and y-axis. Students, look at here. Geometrical interpretation. Okay, our geometrical representation of Rolles. Actually, this is, I told you, this is last year deleted portion. Okay, geometrical representation of Rolles. So, geometrically, I'm taking the uh, values like this is A, B. So, f of x is a function f of x be a function defined in the flow interval a comma b. I am taking the function from not, nothing but what domain must be a comma b. So I am taking a to b. I am going to draw the graph. Like either you can write in two ways. Okay, first case I am going to draw the graph like this. From a to b. Already I have drawn number. Like, okay. So what about this point here? This is point is J. Under F, so what is the output F? when I substitute A here? F of X becomes F of A. What is that F of A is the output? This is F of A. So when I take here, this is B. X value is B. When I substitute in place of X B, F of B we are getting. So this point is clearly, this point is clearly, uh, this is A comma F of A. Then what about this point here? X value is wherever it is B. Output will be F of B. X value is B, Y value is F of B. So what do you observe here? In this graph, is here F of A is equal to F of B or not? F of A is equal to F of B or not? F of B, F of A lies on the same yes, line. So here we can clearly we can take as F of B also. Okay, students. Like, see, it is I'm taking the graph which satisfies the third condition. What is the third condition? F of A must be equal to F of B. So here it is satisfied. Clearly, here F of A is equal to F of B. Then what is the condition here? Whenever, see here, there is no break and all. If you see the graphical representation, 
there is no break it is clearly continuous there is no any sharp corner so it is differentiable also everywhere at any point and uh, whenever it is continuous and it is differentiable then there exists at least one point c see it i have written this is important whatever i write then there there must be exist one point c in open interval it should not equal to end point a as well as b there exist at least what is the derivative f dash of c must be equal to must be equal to zero now can you tell me what is the slope of x axis this is x axis slope of x axis what m value yes student m nothing but d by dx value zero yes or no on x axis slope will be because theta value is zero on x axis so m is equal to tan theta tan zero is equal to zero slope is zero now there exists a point c so first i want to differentiate given function we get f dash of x i want to substitute that uh, x value c f dash of c must be equal to zero nothing but what is the tangent uh, so, so you can choose the point surely will be here there exists a point c will be here at that point c at that point c here the point becomes here in the point how can you write that point c comma f of c when i draw the tangent at this point tangent tangent the what about the tangent at that point c can be given by shall i take f dash of c yes what about f dash of c am i here f dash of c nothing but slope that is df by d x also we can write at x is equal to c df by dx nothing but f dash at x is equal to c what this this tangent is what parallel to x axis or not what about the tangent here is it parallel to x axis or not x axis and this uh, tangent parallel or not yes, yes. whenever parallel two lines are parallel what about their slope let us take m1 this is m2 when two lines are parallel m1 is equal to m2 two lines are perpendicular m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 so here f dash of c value we are getting zero this is the geometrical interpretation of tole so clearly given graph of the given function is continuous as well as differentiable and i am taking f of a is equal to f of b then at there exist one point so c should not take anywhere other than here at this point only if we draw the tangent the tangent must be parallel to x axis rolle's theorem simply remember that the tangent at uh, exist point must be equal to uh, must be parallel to x axis that's all so the graph of the the graph you can may draw like this or else you can draw the graph of the given function like this also i'm going to take from a to b like this see what about this graph there exists a point same c c you can take c f of c if you draw the tangent i get this tangent also parallel to x axis either you can take uh it is open downwards it is open upwards at this point c comma f of c the tangent is clearly parallel to x axis the main thing is at the existing point the tangent must be parallel to x axis this is the geometrical meaning of rolle is so questions are uh, very easy like see here any question here every uh, i'm telling you that every polynomial is always continuous and differentiable and the trigonometric functions also continuous see this is a polynomial continuous as well as differentiable you can write directly clearly f of x is a polynomial it is clearly continuous as uh, continuous in closed interval minus 4 to 2 differentiable in open interval minus 4 to 2 we have to check just third condition just minus 4 substitute here what is f of minus 4 you will get some value substitute 2 over here in place of x you are going to get f of 2 after getting that let us see both will be equal or not like that it is greatest integer function is it continuous examine rolle's theorem verify rolle's theorem nothing but what
we have to check whether the function satisfying given three conditions as well as there exist any point or not that is only we need to check okay uh, so how many questions just six questions are there uh, i hope that you understood that the role scheme statement alone if you do one or two problem you can understood under person no doubt at all okay problems are very easy first one role theorem second one role theorem uh, this is belongs to i think so uh, they did not mention anything so that either it may be belongs to role or like that so then how to identify some uh, technique will be there to identify the question belongs to role or not yes see here in this question simply they mention mean value theorem if they mention only mean value theorem that is belongs to like that if they mention role is role is they don't mention simply they given mean values means like that uh see verify mean value theorem like grand is examine mean value theorem. sometimes this also belongs to role is okay students uh, next class so i can explain the lagrange's mean value theorem concept then after we can complete those six six problems